Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So I've got a ton, I'm gonna jump right in. I only wore two actual like bottles of perfume. Um, everything else is a sample or decant. Um, I've been doing a ton of testing. I actually, I revisited one of my Andromeda's Moon fragrances, and let me know if you guys want an update on the Andromeda's Moon fragrances because I think I've had a chance to wear all of them at this point and I'm going to be updating you on Dua, on Coco Pink, so let me know if you want an update on Andromeda's Moon as well. Anyways, I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to start with the full bottles that I used. I pulled out my Guerlain My Insolence. This is one of my favorite fragrances ever. It would definitely be in a like top 15 for life. I just love it. This bottle of mine, this is my original bottle and it is getting pretty darn low. As you can see, I've only got, I don't know, a third of it left maybe. Thankfully, I have a full backup bottle of this and I absolutely love this perfume. You definitely get like citruses, lemon, raspberry, lemon, ras lemon and raspberry in the top. I believe it's got almond or almond blossom in it and then it's got vanilla in the base. It's gorgeous. It smells like a Guerlain. It's got that Guerlain scent to it. It's just amazing. It smells like, smells very similar to French Kiss. I think French Kiss has been um, discontinued at this point, I think but it smells similar to French Kiss. I do have a big um, sample of French Kiss. I have tested them side by side. They're very, very similar. This smells way more expensive than it is. It smells like it should be from their higher end like arts and materials line. It's amazing. It's so good. This fragrance always reminds me of why I love Guerlain so much. It smells amazing on me. It lasts forever. It was a really gross rainy day the day that I wore this and it just, it was like a mood lifter all day. I enjoyed it so much. So that is Guerlain My Insolence. Next, I wore one of my Dossier fragrances. For some reason, this just came, like I just started craving this fragrance out of nowhere. And it was an in the evening time too. I was getting ready to kind of wind down for the day. And I was like, man, I really, really want to smell like Lush Cherry. And so I pulled out my Dossier um, dupe of it because I don't have a bottle of Lush Cherry. I've heard that the performance of Lush Cherry is really, really bad. So I'm glad I've got the Dossier dupe. It smells identical to it, exactly like it. And this one lasts forever. This one is called Oriental Cherry and it smells exactly like Lush Cherry exactly like it and um, this one I sprayed it on in the evening I could smell it until I went to bed I couldn't smell it anymore when I woke up the next morning maybe because I was nose blind to it at that point or maybe because it just didn't last overnight which is fine I could smell it for a good six hours or so before I went to bed. It's amazing. I love this. It's such a good one. If you're looking for a really good, there are so many good clones of Lost Cherry on the market at this point, but the Dossier one is like, is really, really good. So anyways, that is Dossier Oriental Cherry. Okay, let's get into, I've got a ton of samples and decants that I wore. This is a sample that was just sent over to me. This is Come Toward Sud Pacific. Um, Vini Extreme. I do have a bottle of this, but I was like, ooh, let me just work through my sample first and then I don't have to use my bottle. So yeah, I wore this. I love this. This is a fragrance from this house that actually lasts a really long time. A lot of the perfumes from this house just don't perform the best. They don't hang around for super long time, um, especially the vanilla ones, but this one is a beast. This one, this is a vanilla that will last eight hours, easily eight hours. Um, it is great to layer with. It's great on its own. I just wore it on its own. I loved it so much. And yeah, it just made me super happy the day that I was wearing it. It's a really sweet, cakey vanilla, um, super gourmand vanilla. It's amazing. So, so that's the, the sample that I wore that is Comptoir's Comptoir Sud Pacific. I don't know why those words don't want to come out of my mouth. Um, Vini Extreme. Okay, next I wore this one here. This is a decant that I was just sent over in a decant swap that I did. Um, this is Pinrose Pillow Talk Poet. This is beautiful. It's a really, really gorgeous, clean, warm white musk. And I love it so much. I love the way it smells. I was hoping that this one would perform better than the one that I have. I don't know why I can't remember the name of the one that I have. It's something Fox. Um, 
it's like a caramely, yummy gourmand fragrance and it performs really badly. This one does too. <laughs> um, I think I smelled this for maybe five minutes, seriously, maybe 10, five or 10 minutes. I could smell it. And then I just immediately applied another perfume because I couldn't smell it anymore at all. So yeah, I think it's really, really beautiful. I love the way that it smells, but there are a ton of other musks on the market that actually perform really, really well. And I don't know that I would pay Pinrose prices for something that lasts all of five minutes on me. Um, I'm sure other people have way better luck with Pinrose fragrances. It's just, it's probably my body, body chemistry and I just eat everything up. So anyways, that is Pinrose Pillow Talk Poet. Okay, this next one, this is another decant that was sent in the same decant swap, and this one is from Al Fakar, Fakar I think is how you say it, Al Fakar. And this is called Musk Vanilla. This is a gorgeous perfume. I've used most of my sample up, or most of my decant up. It's got, it looks like milk. It looks like straight up milk. Um, it's a water-based perfume. It smells Oh my gosh, it's heavenly. It is heavenly. It smells like an orange cream or an orange creamsicle. It smells like ice cream, citrusy ice cream. It's amazing. It doesn't perform the best. It, it performed better than Pillow Talk Poet did for me though. I could smell this for maybe 30 minutes or so before I couldn't smell it anymore. Um, but I would not care. I would just keep reapplying this and I have a feeling that this is one of those fragrances that once you applied it a few times, it will layer up on itself and maybe become more fragrant. I just have a feeling that this is how, that that's how this fragrance would be. Um, I am going to pick up a bottle of this at some point. I found, I will link it down below. I just did a, I just did a pretty big sample order from a website called, I think it's called Anubis. I'm pretty sure it's called Anubis.com. And I found they have this perfume. You can get a full bottle for $17. So yeah, I'm eventually going to pick up a full bottle of this. I've got a whole bunch of samples coming though. And I'm going to go through those samples and figure out if there are any other full bottles that I want first before I put an order in for this. But yeah, I love this. It's an amazing little vanilla, citrus vanilla perfume. It's super affordable and I love it. Even though it doesn't perform the best, I still love it. And I love that it's water-based. So anyways, that is Alpha Car Musk Vanilla. Ugh. Okay, next we have, this is from, I can never say this name, Jahan Rigaud. And this is called Vanilla Blonde. This is amazing. It smells delicious. It smells something like Tohoda. It's just a really beautiful, not overly sweet, really yummy vanilla. And I love this one. This one didn't last super long on me though. Um, I've, my, I've got my mind stuck on the Nell something aqua, the one called Jolie. I'm stuck on that one because of how it performs. That one performs amazingly well. Um, this one is kind of similar to that one, but this one doesn't perform as well. This one, yeah, this one just didn't perform super well on me. So this isn't one that I would probably want to buy a bottle of because I could only smell it for, I don't know, it wasn't horrible. It was, I think I was able to smell it for maybe like an hour or so. It wasn't as bad as the, you know, some of the other ones, but it still wasn't great. It wasn't, it wouldn't be worth me buying a bottle of. I'm gonna, I'm like determined to track down a bottle of Jolie. I have to have it. It's, it might take me years to find a bottle, but I am gonna find a bottle. So anyways, that one is from J Jahan Rigo and it is called Vanilla Blonde. Okay, I was on a vanilla kick this week. I think because I've been sampling so many vanillas. Um, this is what I put on after, which one? Um, after the Pinrose one wore off after like 10 minutes. Um, I put on, this is the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Oil. These are tiny little oils. You can get a little um, kit, discovery kit kind of thing from Sephora for, I think it's like $45 and you get five of these little oils. These little oils will last you absolutely forever though. Um, I thought for sure that by this time I would have needed to pick up full size, a full size of some of these because I am obsessed with the vanilla one and the rose one are amazing. But oh my goodness, I haven't had to pick up this. I mean, this oil is just lasting forever. I love this one. This is a sweet, it's a sweet kind of slightly perfumey, really rich, maybe the slightest bit woody vanilla. I love it. It's warm. It's really, really nice. 
Um, it smells more floral, like it would have vanilla orchid in it as well as vanilla. Um, and it might, I'm just, I can't remember off the top of my head what the notes are in this one, but seems like it, it's definitely got some kind of a floral in it. It's definitely a floral vanilla, like a perfumey floral, warm, sweet vanilla. I love it. It's amazing. These nest oils are so good. Like every single one of the these nest oils is really, really nice. But the Madagascar vanilla and the Turkish rose ones are like, they're amazing. So anyways, that is nest Madagascar vanilla. Oh, this one, this lasts for a very long time too. I think I can get a good six to eight hours out of this oil. Um, if I really over apply it, it'll last forever, like all day. Um, it really, really performs very well. Mo I get, I have really good luck with most Nest fragrances. The only one I haven't had great luck with is Golden Nectar. That one doesn't perform super well on me, but it's not like the worst either. It's just not the best. But yeah, I've had pretty good luck with, with Nest fragrances. So anyways, that is Nest Madagascar Vanilla. Okay, next, again, I got on a vanilla kick. I pulled out my Andromeda's Moon um, Vanilla Diorama fragrance and this one I pulled out because I really wanted to see if this one had like macerated. It's definitely been sitting for a good, I don't know, four months or so now. And I wanted to see because when I first got this one, it disappeared. It, I would like spray it on and it would disappear after five minutes. So I wanted to see if this one had gotten any better. Sadly, it has not. Um, I sprayed this on and I smelled it for about 10 minutes and then it was completely gone. Um, this is a really beautiful, kind of slightly sweet, almost tobacco-y vanilla. It almost smells like sweet tobacco and vanilla. It's really, really nice. I wish that it lasted longer on me. I really love how it smells. It just performs terribly. So yeah, that is Andromeda's Moon. Uh, it's inspired by Vanilla Diorama from Dior. Okay, this next one, this is a Kumba Made oil. I just picked this one up not long ago and this is the only one of the last Kumba Made order um, that I did that I had not tested yet. It's been sitting there waiting for me to test it for like two months now and I finally picked it up and tested it. This one is called Wind Dancer and oh you guys, this one is incredible. If you like Smells Like a Stero, you would love this one. It's similar to Smells Like a Stero. It's that same kind of clean white musk, kind of white amber combination, but this one's warmer. This one's got something in it. I don't even know. I don't even know what is in the base of this that gives it this really gorgeous warmth, but it's amazing. This thing is an absolute beast. I, I could smell this on me for 24 hours. I never reapplied anything else that day. I could still smell it on myself when I woke up the next morning until I took a shower. Um, it lasted forever, so it's amazing. Again, if you like musk fragrances, if you like smells like Stero, I think you would love this one. This one is called Wind Dancer. Oh, it's so, so, so good. So yeah, Kumba made Wind Dancer. So I had a whole, I had like this whole area in the bedroom where I'm keeping all of my perfume and just everything that I have, um, or like all of my, everything that I have perfume wise, I'm keeping in this bedroom. Well, in the past like seven months that I've been living in this Airbnb, I've gotten tons of smelly mail and just all, just even stuff that I've purchased like all of my Andromeda's Moon stuff and a lot of my Dua sprays and everything that has been sent to me here since I've been living in this house. I've been like putting on top of this like bin that has a whole bunch of my like lotions and stuff in it and it's just been piling up. And so I finally pulled pulled all of the stuff out, all of the samples, all of the decants, all of the sprays, everything that's been sent to me, even full bottles and things, um, everything that's been sent to me, I pulled it all out and I organized everything. I put everything in like baggies according to like where it came from, like all of the genre stuff that Larive has sent me went into a baggie, all of my Andromeda's Moon stuff went into a baggie, like everything got organized and put away into a, a bin. Um, well, somehow this decant has been 
this was sent to me before I ever even moved. I don't know how it got into that mess of stuff, but somehow it did. This decant was sent to me by another subscriber a long time ago. This is uh, Guerlain Shalimar, the, I'm not gonna say this right, Meliz, Melisme, I think it's Melisme, Vanilla Planifolia. And I had never tested it. She sent it to me months and months ago, like months ago, probably maybe even a year ago, and I never tested it. Well, I finally tested it this past week and I am head over heels in love with this. I must have a bottle of it. It was limited edition, and now I feel like I have to have the Tonka one too because Tonka is my, and one of my other favorite notes. So I need both of them. And they're both limited edition. They're not available anymore. I have to buy them from people on Mercari. And yeah, they're expensive. They're like at least $200 each. I am absolutely in love with it. This vanilla one is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. It smells kind of like Queer Beluga, but a really, really heavy vanilla Queer Beluga. Take away the suede note. I think, I think Queer Beluga has suede in it. Take away the suede note, add a ton more vanilla, and you get the vanilla planifolia. It is phenomenal. It is so good. I have to have it, but it still retains that beautiful, Shalimar DNA, which I absolutely love. So if you love the Shalimar DNA that you get in like uh, Parfum in a Chal, it kind of smells the same. Oh, it's so good. I have to have a bottle of it. I've just got a tiny little bit left because I used so much of it. It also was nuclear. It lasted 24 hours plus. I sprayed it on, wore it all day, could still smell it on myself the next day until I took a shower, nuclear. I have to have a bottle of it. I have to have it. This and the Tonka. Those will be my next perfume purchases. I will not be buying anything else until I have those bottles in my collection. I must have them. So anyways, that is Shalimar Melisme Vanilla Planifolia. If I'm saying that, I'm probably not saying it right. Okay, next, um, this is the decant of Angel Sh Killian Angel Share that was sent over. I have not tested this next to my Dua one. I need to, I left a little bit. I didn't wear it all, but I just felt like wearing this yesterday because it was really yucky out. It was super nasty. I had to be out in it, and so I really just wanted something really cozy and comforting, and so I sprayed on Angel Share, and it's amazing. From my experience with the Dua, I haven't tested them side by side, but to me, they smell identical. I can't really tell a difference. Um, I enjoyed both of them just as much, and so, yeah. When I go through my travel spray of the Dua, I'm just gonna end up buying a full bottle of the Dua one. But yeah, I love Angel Share. Oh, it's yummy. Some people say it smells like apple to them. I don't really get apple. I don't know. I get like a boozy, I just get like a boozy, ambery vanilla. I love it. I love Angel Share so much. I definitely get the hype. I never got on the hype train with this one when it was getting super, super hyped up in the fragrance community, but I understand the hype and why it got so hyped up because it really is amazing. So anyways, that is Killian Angel Share. Lasts forever, it's a beast too. You can, it'll get you through an entire day. Like you'll never be able to put something else on, that's for sure. Okay, and then last but not least, I pulled this, this out for a video a long time ago and I've been wanting to wear it before I put it away. This is, I've got a decant here and this is My Burberry Black. This is a fragrance that I've had a lot of people tell me that in the My Burberry line, the black is the best, and it is. I love this one. I've had bottles, like I've had full bottles of the original My Burberry as well as My Burberry Blush. Um, I didn't love either of those ones. I love this one. This one, it smells very much like My Burberry, but it's got this really beautiful, sweet, kind of syrupiness to it. My Burberry is a little bit more dry and the, it's really freesia forward for me. And this one is sweeter and it's got this beautiful syrupiness to it. It's amazing, I love it. I need to pick up a full bottle of it when I after I go through this travel spray. It's one that I will definitely pick up a full bottle of. I really love it. It also performs really, really well. Um, this is a 10, 12 hour fragrance. Every, I mean, Burberry fragrances are just 
amazing performing fragrances. They they hang around forever. So, and this one is no exception. Um, yeah, I really, really love this one. And I am very thankful that everybody told me to try this one because after I tried the first two and they didn't really work for me, um, I would have given up. Like I probably wouldn't have ever even tried this one. I'm so glad that I did because it's really, really amazing. So anyways, that is my Burberry Black from Burberry. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.